Yesterday was National Cinema Day, so I went over to the Lakewood Cinema 8 and interviewed the manager, Jacob Felt. With the closing of the mall cinema, uh, how is that going to affect uh, everything going on? Uh, we're hoping it doesn't affect too much. We, we think that most of the people know that we have this location and our Warren location, so we're really hoping it doesn't affect the business too much. Uh, ultimately, what it came down to was it was the smartest economical and financial decision to make. You know, we think that the public generally knows that. The, the mall has been in a decline, and uh, whatever repairs or what they're doing over there, just it doesn't fit the timeline of what we need for restoration. Uh, the roof is leaking, it's having some issues with the seats and the projectors. Um, yeah, and so we ultimately, we took into consideration this was not an easy decision. It was over several years that the owners thought about this. The experience that we're providing to our customers is of utmost importance. And if we're not providing a 10 out of 10 experience, then what do we do, right? Absolutely, like I know I've been to both I mean, they each had their benefits, but I do have to say this, uh, the mall one, like you said, it's been in decline over time, so it makes sense. Sure. And uh, is it true uh, that we might be moving over some of the seating from the mall to this location? We have already started doing that. Yeah, we have 64 of them. Yeah. The big electronic refining seats? Yeah, they're nice. Yeah, that was like my yeah. favorite thing about going to the mall. Like, oh my goodness, yeah. so, yeah. just makes it so much nicer. And, uh, so that actually kind of ties in. So, I mean, a big thing since the pandemic is, you know, the experience of going to a movie theater rather than just streaming it at your home. And so do you think that that will help, you know, incentivize audiences? I hope so. I really do. Uh, funny enough, you know, post-COVID, most businesses are struggling. Theaters in, in general, you know, we're fighting the streaming services. But you don't get the same experience from sitting on your couch that you do in a theater. The sound and smell of popcorn popping, all, everything else going on here, the ambient lighting, the surround sound, it, it, it's not an experience you can get in your house that you're not capable of unless you've spent $100,000 yeah. and build your own studio, right? Uh -huh. um, so we're hoping that people remember how great it is to come in here. Now, since uh, the release of Barbie... I was uh, going to ask. <laughs> the release of Barbie was something completely uh, unexpected. Mm -hmm. You know, it's grossed over $1 billion worldwide. Uh -huh. And they're actually accrediting Barbie for the uh, revitalization of the movie theaters post COVID. Mm -hmm. And so we're seeing that here, we're seeing that everywhere. The amount of people who walk through the doors and say, man, I forgot how much fun it was to come to the theater. Uh -huh. You know, and the amenities that we offer here are great too. You know, we've got, besides the new seats that are yeah. awesome, uh -huh. you know, we've got hot food, we've got drinks, we've got wine, we've got beer. Um, I mean, you can order a whole pizza and sit down in the theater and eat it. Yeah, How great is that? That's something I noticed while I was just standing here, the just sheer yeah. breadth and variety of uh, things that you're offering yeah. at the concession stand. It's not just, you know, popcorn, soda, and candy. It's a lot more encompassing than that. Oh, yeah, absolutely. We've got apple pie logs, pizza logs, we've <laughs> got chicken tenders, nachos, um, oh my gosh, pretzels. We have stuffed pretzels, jalapeno pretzels. We've got so much food. It's great. Why go to a restaurant, come here, enjoy dinner and a show? That's right. Yes, you know? absolutely. Okay, yeah, so uh, just in closing, is there anything else that you really want the viewers to know? Like anything that you wanted to say to them? A couple things. I guess uh, one thing would be uh, coming straight from the owner's mouth, how much they appreciate all of their customers um, over the years, uh, the ones that patronize the uh, mall location but every one of their locations. They're deeply, deeply grateful for each and every one of them. Uh, furthermore, we had a wonderful manager here for 27 years, and most people knew his name was Jim White. He ran this place like a well-oiled machine, and he did it very, very well. Um, between Jim and I, there was a couple managers that uh, certainly just didn't jive, didn't work, and it kind of hurt the reputation a little bit, but I want people to know that what we're doing is, is we're revitalizing not just the movie theater industry, but we're revitalizing the management structure here. With me being the new manager in town, I really want people to know how much I love the movies, and how much I love, how much I appreciate them and want them to have a great experience. And so it all comes from here, from the top down, right? And that's really what it comes down to, just uh, supplying the best experience yeah. that you can. Yeah, yeah, I think it's important that people just know that we're doing everything we can to provide a clean atmosphere, provide amenities. I mean, we've got collectible cups and buckets and 
you know, we're doing everything we can to make sure everybody gets everything they hope and desire out of the movies. Absolutely. And uh, if, can you just tell everyone what movies are currently playing and then what they have to look forward to coming up? Oh my gosh, there's so many movies out and coming up. Uh, I don't have the complete list in front of me of what's coming out. <laughs> Uh, right now we've got Blue Beetle, good uh -huh. action movie that's out right now. Mm -hmm. uh, we've got Gran Turismo. Yeah, that's a, a fantastic movie about a gamer who used to play Gran Turismo games, and then was offered a chance to drive race cars professionally. Oh. And, and it's a, that's a real life story. I've never heard it, but I'm really excited to watch the movie. Oh yeah, like I noticed, I looked now. I was like Gran Turismo, like yeah. the like the video games. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So apparently there was a, a gamer who got the chance to drive professionally a race car. And so this is his story. So wow. I think that's awesome. We of course still have Barbie. Uh -huh. I don't know when that's going away. People Absolutely. still love it. We get large groups in. Uh, we've got Turtles still. We've got The Hill, which is a faith-based movie about a, a pastor and his son who wants to play baseball. Uh, we've got Retribution, which is Liam Nielsen. Um, geez, we've got a lot of movies out right now, a lot coming up. Uh, if we were to take a walk around, uh, if you guys want, you know, so we can take a walk around. I can show you some of the posters and some of the movies. And Absolutely. That would be awesome. Some B-roll footage. Uh-huh, 100%, yeah. After we finished, he took us outside to show us some upcoming films that audiences can look forward to. Saw 10 has a large cult following. Oh, yeah. People are very excited for a new Saw movie. I didn't know there was have, a new one coming out. Yeah. <laughs> There's also uh, Father Stew coming out, Nun 2, The Creator. It's mm -hmm. a biomechanic world uh, okay. recreation. Really excited about that. Equalizer mm -hmm. 3 has a great following as well. Mm -hmm. Five Nights at Freddy's. Oh, they People are really excited for Friday, Five Nights at Freddy's. <laughs> uh -huh. And then the Nun 2, people are really excited about as well. So these are just some of them that are coming out. But again, everybody can go to our website, www.dipsandtheaters.com for a full list of movies coming up and currently out. Also, they can download our app. Jacob finished things off by telling us about his personal connection to the theater. So for me, the reason why I took this job, I'm already a full-time realtor with Premier Listings Real Estate. I've done that since 2016 with my wife, we're a team, we love it. Um, when this was offered to me, I accepted because of my love, not for just movies, but for the love of this theater. Mm -hmm. At the age of 18, my best friend died in a horrible car accident. And all growing up from the age of 6 to 18, we were inseparable. Where he mm -hmm. went, I went. And most of the time, it was this theater. I grew up just down the road in Asheville. And we'd ride our bikes here all summer long and even during the winter sometimes. And uh, so this, this theater has a special meaning to me. It has a special place in my heart. Later on, after he died and I met my wife, this is where we went for dates. Sometimes two or three times a week, we'd come here and watch movies. Mm -hmm. And so for me, this place is, is special. And so when I knew that they were in such need and they wanted someone who'd really be passionate about it, mm -hmm. there's no way I could say no. It means a lot to me. It really does. I I'm honored to be able to help.